My artists and musicians out there, your dreams are closer than you think. If I can encourage you to write another song, release another song, market another song, do not give up. My name's Chris, also known as the Artist Manifest. We have over 130 million streams on Spotify, and I just love coaching other artists. Now listen, I just got back from a week at Funnel Hacking Live and a week in the studio, and I can't tell you how important it is to surround yourself with other people, other like-minded artists that are also chasing after their dreams. Not the naysayers, not the people that just want a job, just over broke, but people that are stretching up. They don't want an ordinary life. They want to build an extraordinary empire. All right, I got that quote from, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but she was at Funnel Hacking Live. But I'll never forget watching that movie with um, P.T. Barnum. It's the greatest showman on earth. If you haven't seen that movie, it's really, really inspiring. But it's based on the life of, of P.T. Barnum. And he has this quote that really relates to artists and musicians releasing music. And it's this, without promotion, something awful happens. Nothing. Oh, it's so good, right? Without promotion, something awful happens. Nothing. And so he was a master at dramatic demonstrations, really making noise around something, really that real X factor about something that made people want to see something. And he used scarcity, he used wow factor, he used stories and all these different things that we as artists can use around our music to sell more merch, sell more streams, kickstarters, whatever it is to get more attention to our music. Now, if you haven't seen that movie, The Greatest Showman on Earth, then you don't know that there's a part of the movie where he brings this really talented singer called um, Jenny Lynn's over from the UK. He brought her over to America, and it was the first time. And she was famous in the UK, but nobody had heard about her in America. And so before she came, what he did was, is he hired uh, writers to write these stories to put in magazines. He had merch made up about her and wrote all these stories and built up all this buzz so that when she first landed on the, on the boat on shore to come to sing and do all these shows, there was thousands of people there to greet her. But if he hadn't done all this pre-promotion, pre-save on Spotify, get it? Pre-promotion, pre-save. If he didn't do all this pre-promotion, when she arrived, nobody would be there. It's the same idea like when somebody, when your song arrives, if you didn't do all this pre-promotion, well then nobody's going to know that it's there. And what's interesting is he did all these different things to say how amazing she was and built up all this buzz and so they would sell out all these tickets. And so all of a sudden she she's there and she's selling out all these places. People are loving the show because she was talented. She was good. But then she thought, oh, well... I don't need you, P.T. Barnum. I can sell out all these stadiums and different arenas myself. I, I don't need you. And she went out on her own, and she barely sold any tickets. There was It did not do nearly as well as she would have with P.T. Barnum. And this is the lesson. Talent doesn't necessarily sell tickets. A great song doesn't necessarily guarantee streams. It's the promotion and marketing around it. Isn't that wild? It's so powerful. Talent isn't what sells tickets. It's the wow factor. It's the dramatic demonstrations. It's all the craziness, the buzz, the wild stuff. If you've ever followed Kanye West, that guy is a master at getting attention. If you didn't notice, he recently released a sweater that says white lives matter okay now whatever you believe in that i don't care the point is, is that guy and the kardashians are at the master of grabbing all the attention now i'm not telling you to be all crazy and controversial but you can do things that are different and out of the box to bring attention to your brand into your music so that you can get people to stream it get people to buy it and get them involved because like I said in the other quote when there is no promotion something awful happens nothing and I don't know about you but I have experienced nothing happening I remember one of my my second album when I was with a label it was on my birthday that the record came out we did this in we we're supposed to do an in-store signing 
you know, when, we, when we'd sell the CDs and sign records and, you know, the CD shop would be promoting it. And I remember that nobody came that day. Nobody came. I was far away from my wife. I was in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I don't know what the heck we were doing there. We had a show there. That was where we had our CD release show. And I remember nobody came. And I remember that album doing like nothing. And it was so discouraging. And I remember being on the road and, uh, you know, just trying to play shows, just trying to make money, just trying to figure this thing out. And I remember all of a sudden I got a call from the record label one day. And they're like, Chris, how you doing? I'm like, well, I'm doing all right. To be honest, I'm thinking about quitting. I didn't tell them that, but I was really on the edge of giving up. I was really thinking of just throwing this thing in. And he told me that all of a sudden we're selling albums in Japan. And I told him to give me more details. And he was telling me they're selling like 10,000 albums a week. And this is because through the record label, we had distribution through EMI. And so EMI Japan had picked up the record and they did all this promotion around the song and they said I was the Linkin Park meets Eminem okay who were some of the biggest artists at the time dramatic demonstration pulling from celebrity status Linkin Park meets Eminem that's who was, uh, they said I sounded like the one man Linkin Park that was another line that they said but they're doing all these comparisons and so they, they did all this buzz I didn't even tour there and I was selling 10,000 albums a week what's interesting is I didn't go to Japan before I sold records. I went to Japan after I sold records, after the buzz was made, and then I dropped it. And so this is what I want to tell you is that don't be afraid to start small. Don't be afraid to get out there with, with zero followers or zero subscribers. Start where you are and build it up and don't be afraid to start here. Everybody starts at the bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Isn't that what Drake says, right? You start at the bottom, but you don't stay there, and you keep building, and you build that buzz, and then so when you have that buzz, you drop it. Now, for some of you, yeah, you just got to drop a song, and you need strategy, though. And this is where I want to say, it's not that you need to give up on your dream, it's that you need to give up on the strategy that isn't serving you and grab a new strategy. You know, what got you here won't get you there. You need a new strategy, and this is why I want to invite you to the next Spotify challenge. It's five days where we focus on blowing up your Spotify. Day one, I think we talk about playlists. We talk about collaborations. We talk about ads. We talk about triggering the algorithm. We talking about going from zero to six figures to seven figures with your music. All right. And if you get a VIP ticket, you get to ask questions every single day and I get to be your coach for five days straight. Go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. Now, the link is below. I hope to see you there, but I want you to think about what can you do to get more credibility around your music? What can you do to bring more noise around your music? One of the ways you can do that is by getting a famous feature or an artist that was bigger than you or hiring a producer that is super talented and worked with whoever artist. You know, what's the story behind the song? Is there a social justice angle? Is there a political angle? Is there just a heartbreaking story around it? Like, what's the story? What promotion are we gonna wrap around your song to, to bring attention and get eyes on this thing, to get people talking about it? What's the craziness? What's the wildness? What's the heart-wrenching story? What's the cool producer, whatever it is that we can wrap around this thing and share it with people so that they start talking about it. Remember, facts tell, but it's stories that sell. And we all have a story. You know, I lost my dad to suicide when I was five years old. I was shy. I was timid. I was overweight as a kid. I got picked on. I was, I was really fat. I, I hated the way I looked. I wanted to lose weight so bad. I've written about that stuff. I've talked about that stuff. I never used to be able to talk into a microphone like this. I never used to be able to sing or perform or any of that stuff. But I pushed myself through. And guess what? Everybody loves the underdog story because we relate to people's story of struggle more than we do the success. Like when I hear someone, like, wow, you went through that too, man. You're insecure too. You, you threw up before the show too. Wow, man, I didn't know that. I didn't know that, you know, you got picked on or bullied. I didn't know that you didn't have a dad. I didn't know that your, your your mom treated you like garbage. You know, like when you hear these stories, these are relatable assets. It's not all about this glowing lights and, and makeup and all this whatever and, and, and 
being at the top. It's like, no, show the story, tell the story. And people want to follow your story. And so I want to encourage you to keep fighting for your dreams. Never give up. God loves you. I love you. If you don't know Jesus, hey, make him a part of his story. I never like to push uh, my beliefs, but God's changed my life. And I know he wants to change yours too. I hope to see you at this next Spotify challenge. Go to 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge. You are closer to your dreams than you realize. If you'll just take another step, if you'll just write another song, if you'll just record another hit song. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Peace. My name is Cynthia Locke and I'm from Vancouver, Canada. And I just wanted to say thank you so much to Chris for putting on this Spotify challenge. I upgraded to the VIP for only 50 US and it was just so incredibly packed with so much information. Like I feel like I I received so much valuable information like way above the price um, that I paid and it's just it was just so impactful to see Chris show up every day. Like he he was there early, like he went on later to answer all of our questions and there's just so many things that I learned. Yo Chris, what's up? Dave Clark here, aka firstborn son. Dude, day two was incredible. Thank you so much for all the knowledge you've bestowed upon us. Um, quick takeaway for me was that playlist hack. I think that's awesome. You know, find a great ind independent playlist, find the curator, find the contact, and bam, go straight to the source. Hey guys, Parallel here. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thanks, Chris manifest thanks for the great training today and for a great week so far and also thanks to everybody who's uh taken the taking the class uh thanks for being part of this journey with me so my aha moments uh this well, for today are uh hate is a part of success and uh, so embrace the haters um the second one is uh it's crowded at the bottom but not at the top and thirdly Life is not a dress rehearsal, okay? So I also wanted to show you uh, what I've got on my wall here. One life, one chance, no regrets. And if you zoom in a little closer, future rock star. So hopefully that's a bit of inspiration for you guys. See you tomorrow. I would like to have a testimonial for Chris. I, have, I had that week with him for to grow the fan base on Spotify and that was amazing but when i say amazing man he give all his heart his heart to 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 give us the most of him and the most for us to to grow and i thank you so much for all of that and i was uh, starting from very much really from scratch and i have now so many things to i know so many things and i have to do so good stuff and then i will go ahead with this guy because he's great great very good heart and uh, i i love you chris thank you so much for all of that